What's up guys, Jace Two Cents here, and you might notice I'm in a space that doesn't really look very familiar. Um, I ran into someone, and he invited me in, and uh, why don't you go and introduce yourself. You guys might have seen him before. Hey, hey, what's up guys? It's Terry Crews here with J2 Cent. We told you it was going down. This guy's we said strong. It. We told you. <laughs> We told you it was happening, and now it is happening. What's up, Jay? Okay, so this is this is kind of been behind the scenes things here for a little bit because this guy is. You guys thought I was busy? Okay, so you got oh, 17 <laughs> jobs or something like that. I think you said you did a Facebook video about you were just addicted to building your computer because you built that yourself, right? Yes, okay. yes, I did. First thing I want to ask you before I move into how we're here today: what got you started? How, what made you say I want to build a computer? First of all, uh, my son. I was losing him, okay? It was a, a thing where he was always in the video games, always talking video games, and I had no idea what he was talking about, right. you know? And it was kind of like, you know, and I, and I had a basic overview of, of things, but, you know, what was wild is that he just loved him so much, and I said, we have to find something. I have to find something that we can do together that piques his interest, because, you know, it's weird because I, you know, I, I came from the football era, you know, right. but a lot of kids today. L.A. Rams, right? L.A. Rams, yeah. Packers, Chargers, Redskins, Eagles, seven and, years. And now they're back at home. And now they're back <laughs> home. I was on the original. I saw Rams. you were there on opening day. The original, yeah. you know, 91 Rams. Yeah. And I said, I have to get close to him. So, but it was wild. And the first real, real, you know, big, big interest I took into it was I went to the EA Battlefield event. Oh, the I, Battlefield so you, you were at E3. At E3. I, was, I was there too, that behind the scenes closed event. Yes. yes, yes. It was like Snoop Dogg, Jamie right. Foxx, myself, and the whole thing. And, and we saw that, and, and, and us YouTubers, are, we're, we were kind of going, Snoop Dogg and Battlefield, yeah. what, what is happening yeah, here? It, it was wild, man. I mean, well, this was the thing. I thought everybody, you know, my feel was like, okay, they're going to give me a controller and the whole thing. But then I watched and I saw these beautiful glowing machines. Yeah. Now, you got to understand, I was like, wait a minute. The game was like, part of it. It was, yeah. it was the equipment pulled you in. And, and listen, I got goosebumps. I was like, this thing is beautiful. It's glowing. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and I was like, and it was clear and you could see all the components and the whole deal. And I was like, and these guys had keyboards and mouses. And, and I was, and then so, so other people picked, you know, grabbed the Xboxes and right. PlayStation. So you were drawn to that mouse and keyboard. But I, that was the thing. Yeah. I was like, and they were like, well, you know, the real PC guys, we play it this way. And I said, well, I want to play that way. Right, right. And so when people saw me with the keyboard and the mouse, they were like, PC Master Race, what's up? You know? Right, right. And I remember hearing it for the first time, and I was like, oh, what is that? I realized there was a whole, there was a movement. Right. You know? And I, then, I, then I started going online. It's a, it's, a, it's a subculture all to itself. Almost. I mean, and there's, there's some fierce battles there, console versus PC, and Terry yes. already kind of touched on that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it, there's just, the thing with PC is you can make it yours. Yeah. And that's kind of why we're here today. Yeah. Yes. You built your first PC. Yes. How'd you pick those parts? How'd you know what to get? Well, you know, it was funny. Um, while I was there, you know, I befriended one of the guys. He gave me a, a, an initial list. And then I went online and, and just started doing my own research, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the list or different things. And then I started saying, I got to make this thing badass. Right. Like, you know, I want to make it really, really nice. So I saw the great companies that were doing the right stuff. Right. And I bought it all myself. My thing was people were like, well, they can give it to you. But I was like, mm, you know what? Because I want to, I want the authenticity right. of seeing if it really works. You know what I mean? Because right. this is one of those things where I've been on sets where, you know, they hand you this and you just have to act like it worked. And I'm like, no, you yeah, know, yeah. I know for a fact, I said, I want to be a, a, you know, a real gamer, a real guy who's doing this stuff. And I shipped everything. I literally ordered everything at once. It all came to my house in boxes. And I was like, oh shit, what do I do now? now? <laughs> I, I was, go together, so. oh my God, it was like, man, look, I got this, I got this. And then what I decided to do, I said, my son and I, I said, we're gonna build this together, but we're also gonna build it with my whole Facebook community. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. And I said, any question that I had, I just decided to throw it out to Facebook. And there were some really, really like harsh you, times. You probably noticed right then and there that no matter what you asked, no one could agree. No. Right? No one could agree on what you should have done. And, and why'd you get this? Why didn't you get that? That's the tough part. It was intense. Yeah, but you know, I saw the build, I saw your videos, and I've seen some of the streams you've done with your son, and it, it works. It works. You did not scrimp on the parts. You I mean, went high end. But I'm, I, mean, I'm a, I gotta I gotta confess, this is kind of crazy, man. I did it all, I put it together. 
I pushed the button and it Nothing didn't work. Happened, right? Nothing happened, and I'm going, "Oh my God!" No, no. This is the thing with once you start building your own stuff, you start second guessing everything. Like, did I plug this into the right whatever the motherboard? Right. You know, you you just have to you start running and it's this train where you're insecure about everything. Right. Dude, I wasn't pushing the power button. You're pushing the reset. I was pushing the reset button, <laughs> and I'm trying to tell you, I had I took it to Best Buy, literally. Like, this is, how did I, how did I do this and it not work? He was like. And, it, and it, it, it booted up, and I, I said it wasn't the power button. I was so embarrassed. Everyone, but. everyone needs that humbling experience. It was humbling, very humbling. When you put up your video on Facebook, when yeah. you, specifically the one when you were just talking about being addicted to building it and yeah. tweaking it and working on it. Yes. So many people linked me over and over. My 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 social media feed, my inbox exploded with everyone saying. Terry built a computer. Terry built a computer. Yeah. You need to build him a computer. I'm thinking to myself, he just built himself a computer. What can I possibly do? But then I showed you Red Mist, which was yes. actually a pretty amazing build, but still very budget oriented. And right. I say budget oriented, it's like a $7,000 tower, but it, it's not, there were limits. Yeah. But given now that you found a new passion, mm -hmm. right, a new community that you kind of didn't know existed. Exactly. Um, and, and given you've had so much of an influence on in, in different aspects of people's lives, I thought, why don't we build a computer for you that is kind of an accumulation of, of your achievements? Yes. So that's why I asked you, what theme would you want to do? And we talked about that for a bit back and forth. We're a couple months into this discussion yeah, already. Yeah. I mean, you've talked about uh, President Camacho. Uh -huh. You've talked about Old Spice. Uh -huh. uh, and we talked about Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Um, we've kind of leaned towards Old Spice. Yeah. But... Have we made up our mind on that one? Well, you know, I, I, I think Old Spice, I, I want to ask you, do you okay. think we could ask, have the people decide what, what it would be, or okay, would that so be a I wise can, move? No, it's always good to ask, yeah. right? Even if you don't go with their choice, uh -huh. at least you know where they're leaning, right? Because right. exactly. ultimately it's yours. It's really two. It's between two. Camacho it's between Camacho okay. or Old Spice. And given where we are right now in 2016, Camacho... <laughs> <laughs> Now they told me if I didn't make you pop. Yeah, it's already done. You okay. Know, he's probably, every time I look away, I'm sure he's over here it's doing it. It's happening. It's happening. So don't. I can only do that if I jump. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, uh, I'm gonna put a straw poll down below. Okay, and you guys, and you can go to the video. You can click this whenever you want. You'll yeah. see it. We'll let it go. Two choices: President Camacho theme, which would be very patriotic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I almost feel like we need to put a wig on it. Uh -huh. Right. Or Old Spice. Now Old Spice is is like. Did they give you a lot of freedom on how you wanted to do that? Or was it literally stand up on the green screen and do what they said? Yeah, um, well, let me tell you, for one, we made, it was wild. I was only like contracted to do two commercials. Okay, Okay. it went way more than two. We did, <laughs> first, and wait, the first day, as they saw what was happening, they, there were contracts back from the, the parent company. They were we going, we, we, we want more. We yeah. want more. And we, were doing, we did more that day. Right. That was so crazy. We were making commercials up on the spot. When they saw the stuff I was doing and, and was and, going And then nuts. breaking into other commercials. Yeah, right, exactly. It just <laughs> became like, I'll give you a perfect example. The one where we were like, block, block, right, block, right. block. That was like a total, like, off the cuff. It was just flying, very ad-lib. Just keep going and we'll keep doing something. You know what I mean? And, and dude, it's, again, one of the most successful campaigns in advertising history. Yeah, I mean, because it's, it's so different. It's, you could not, listen, love it or hate it, you couldn't forget it. Exactly. And that was the thing. And, and it, it became the first time people were watching commercials as entertainment. Mm -hmm. Like, truly, people would watch a half hour of Old Spice commercials, like, you know, uh, as, as a sitcom. I, 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 like I told you before we started here, I told my seven-year-old yesterday, I said, I'm going to go work tomorrow with a, with a Hollywood celebrity. And she's like, oh, really? Who? I said, Terry Crews. And she's like, who? Because she's seven, right? right. <laughs> let, me show you, let me show you some of the Old Spice stuff. And she's giggling because it's so silly. Yeah. But then I showed her hot chicks. Right, white, chick, white chicks, white, white chicks, chicks. Yes, yes. and uh, you know, with the with the Wayans brothers, and and she's she was cracking up at yeah. that whole scene in the car. Oh, well, you gotta understand. And then click, she saw the click theme or the the scene. So well, this is the deal. Because she uh, likes to dance in the car. Uh, this right here, this is the computer world. This is the guys that are into gaming and the whole deal. But I have fans in every segment, which is right. nuts. I mean, when you talk about the Camacho stuff, the comedy world goes nuts over it. Uh, Conan O'Brien, look, Will Ferrell came up to me and was like, dude, that's genius. It's actually genius. Um, then I go to church and everybody's like, everybody hates Chris. You just a wonderful father. It's amazing, you know. And then you go to White Chicks. I go to the mall. The little girls like, ah, you know, yeah. screaming. Then I go to the, the football games or basketball games. It's all Expendables and right. you know, it's uh, Longest Yard and the whole thing. And then 
And it's funny, then you got the fans, uh, the Brooklyn Nine-Nine fans, so right. I, I, I've always hit all these But you're not typecasted, segments. that's what's awesome. That's the best thing, yeah. but it's all funny. It's all but good. But that's why I'm here today, too, is because I, I cross over a lot of things. I'm a very big car enthusiast. In fact, mm -hmm. Sunday I'm taking my car to the racetrack, right? Okay. So I'm huge into cars, and I've crossed over into that genre, mm -hmm. and that's not my main audience here, but the, the amount of people that watch me and watch that and to see it come together are just like, this is amazing. It's good. But you, why do you have to have one more than one? Why do you have to have no. just one thing? I really believe a lot of people are always like, man, you can only have one dream, but that has always been a lie. Always. Right. If, if that was the case, then I, I, I played my football career and I was supposed to go off into the sunset. But that's not true. I've, mm -hmm. I've lived like several different lives. Yeah. I mean, pro athlete to actor, comedian, gamer. That's, that's almost feels like you're going backwards, Terry. No, no. <laughs> What is happening here? Ah, that's funny. That's good. That's good. Okay. No, so. not backwards. I'm going forward. I'm, I, listen, I'm here to show gamers that, look, you can be in shape. You, now, you, exactly. you have also lost a lot of weight yourself. 250 pounds. This man, let me, let me tell you something right now. I've lost Jay weight. Jay Toussaint. And, he, and look how thick this guy is. Look how dense he is. 200, he is. The man has lost me. I'm 200 at 40 pounds. So you, he, he literally has lost 250 pounds, and he's still into the game. He's still a gamer. I, I'm actually, I'm here to encourage a lot of gamers who are overweight that you don't have to just settle for that. You know yeah, what I mean? You can yeah. be, you can get in shape. You can play the games. It's all good. You can't have it all. A lot of people feel like you got It's got to be either or, but it's not. You can have it all. I, I got a funny story for you, real quick. Here, I, I got to tell because I told you we did a fan meet in the park earlier this week. Mm -hmm. um, one of my fans came specifically to meet me and congratulate me on the weight loss, and he's a personal trainer. Wow. So he, he brought some ropes, and then we hung him on a tree, and we started working out in the park in mm -hmm. the middle of this meet, right? And I couldn't help but channel um, bridesmaids, because I went, it's just 12 bucks! <laughs> I know, <laughs> so, that was good! That was, oh, I, I, literally, was it was classic. like, I just felt like it was working out in the park, like oh, on that scene yeah, right yeah. there. You know, I almost forget the stuff I've been in. You know, yeah. it's kind of, because I always concentrate on the future. And right. then let me tell you something, too. Um, this has always been my dream, and I'm going to tell you, just for you guys, to be in a video game. I mean, for real. The, right. the motion capture, the whole thing. That's a huge production. I want to be in a video game, because I really believe that video games are the future of entertainment. Yeah. I think that television, movies, as it all gets more Netflix oriented, everything streamed, it, it's got to be more interactive. Right. I mean, to the fact that I really believe you'll be able to choose the ending of the movie that you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the, it'll have alternate endings. Like those books where you used to, like, choose something and go to a different page exactly. and change the Exactly. I yeah. really believe within the next 50 years, and maybe earlier than that, that, you know, the, the nature of movies, you're going to go into a movie theater, you're going to be able to sit down and have a keypad, and based on the mood of the audience, right. your experience is going to change. That would be cool. It, it's the because coolest thing ever. I'd like, like to see the movie multiple times. It, but that's the thing. I mean, when you look at games like Red Dead Redemption, uh, you know, stuff where you can, you can go back into the world and explore different times, different places. You can go off, you know, and right. you can go in different time periods or whatever. That's a really fulfilling experience. Because there's a lot of games that already offer that, right. right? Multiple endings, but I see that becoming mainstream in media and movies. I That'd think movies, I think right now, if in the future, we're going to have to film two different endings when you do a movie. Because copyright's already on file, so don't try and... Uh, I know, the copyright here. That's some intellectual property 20, right 2016, there. 2016, right now, all rights reserved. I own it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so let's talk about the PC here. Yes. Um, are you afraid of water cooling? Are you afraid of the idea of having water in there? Oh man, that that that's very very intimidating. I mean, I, again, I put my thing in. I, I did my, you know, I got my graphic card. I thought and it glowed, and I was like, cool. Right. But when I the idea of water, it just scares me. You know, I my a lot of my channel has been built upon the whole water cooling concept. Mm -hmm. um, I think most people would agree that, of course, there's a little bit of added element of risk okay. in there. Um, but it's one of those things that generally it happens so rarely now because the water cooling parts have gotten so much better. Okay. Um, back in the day, we used to build them out of aquarium pumps and we made it ourselves, and it wasn't meant for it and there was a lot of risk. So we're talking oh. like back 2000, 2001. Wow. Now there are, there are huge multi-million dollar productions uh, of parts being machined specifically for this. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them carry uh, pretty decent warranties with them too. Mm -hmm. So. To make it truly custom, I feel like we kind of need to throw water in there. No, I'm, I'm with it. Okay. I'm, listen, I want to take it, you know, I want to take it to the scary place. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I, can you tell me, have you ha ever seen an example where water cooling went wrong? 
Uh, yeah, actually, oh. there's... Okay, so I'm going to throw another YouTuber under the bus okay. right now. His name is oh. Kyle Bitwit. Oh. <laughs> he went to turn on his system and test it when it was all put together, and he forgot to put on one of the fittings, and it just looked like a geyser. Oh. But nothing got ruined. Okay. Because he... he he caught it and he turned it off. Oh. Um, I've personally uh, made some, over time, so a bad fitting, give me a little drip, okay. but not in a place that caused any damage. Okay. Of course it could have. Right. Um, I recommend not leaving it running when you're not there. Right. Right. If you, if, if you have it here on the desk or whatever, yeah. I would recommend turning it off every time you leave. Okay. Um, but you know, there are a lot of coolants out there that are not conductive. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they won't hurt your system if they leak. The problem is if you leave it in the system for a long time, mm. then it starts to get conductive because it's touching metal. Wow, okay. But okay. I think it's one of those things too though where um, for, for the purpose of this, I think the risk is outweighed by the reward yes. of what the system's gonna be. It's gonna be. look incredible. I, I wanna make this literally above and beyond anything I've done on this channel okay. yet. Because I mean, the modding community too, I have access to a lot of pro modders out there that can do anything that we want. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of put together a team and make this computer literally one of a kind. Wow. Because why not? Uh, why not? <laughs> and I'm gonna say, this is the room it's gonna be in. You know what I mean? I mean, there's this, Star Wars on the wallpaper. Yes, I'm gonna, gonna B-roll this. I'm right trying impressive. to tell you, man, I, I don't play. This is, you know, I made this office to be my inspiration. This office is my, you know, where I get, my, this is my muse. His you know gaming I mean? view is the 30th floor of South LA right exactly, here. Exactly, I mean, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, and I have to say, you know, the reason I, I wanted to move it here it's because the internet at where I live is just not very good. Yeah. And down here in this office, it's absolutely blazing. I want to do twitches. I want. I mean, I want to really, really step up. The, you know, the game in right. regards to multiplayer and bringing people in and the whole thing, and then having people view it and, and be it there with me. But I couldn't do it at the house. I just, just, and I apologize. A lot of people were waiting for more, but it's just the the bandwidth and the, and. You know, the internet just was too weak. No, if you don't have good, if you don't have good internet, streaming is a terrible, terrible, terrible experience. Terrible. Do you spend a lot of time here? I do. In your office? I okay. do. I mean, when I'm not working, it's funny, when I'm not on set, um, I treat this thing as an eight hour day. Right. You know, what I do instead of going to set, I come down here from nine to five and really, I mean, work on my new plans, write, uh, draw, work on different things. Because you guys I mean, don't know, he also has a design company, right? Yeah, yeah, it's called Amen and Amen. Is that, exactly, uh, we're design my wife, furniture. Okay. My wife has been kind of looking at that stuff and I want to say my pocketbook does not appreciate <laughs> a lot of what you're doing right now. No, I took it to Milan. Our last, <laughs> our last thing was in Milan and we got a big surprise coming at ICFF the International Contemporary Furniture Fair in New York this May. So I'm not playing, man. But again, why stop? Why exactly, not? Exactly. Why not? In fact, I was thinking about kind of working on new gaming furniture that could be like a there whole nother. A lot level. of people complain about the only the only true gaming chairs out there are like race car seats, but they're yeah. not always the most comfortable. They're not, they, and they don't look good, and they, they, they don't go with the decor. Right. There's a way to make this thing work. And they're like five, six hundred bucks. So yeah. there's a lot of budget there to play with people are willing to spend on a chair. Exactly, exactly. So, I, I, you know, my mind is always racing on how to, you know, do these worlds because the design is still, it's still key. Because, right. and that's the thing with the PCs. The PCs look so good. That's what turned me on about them. You know what I mean? I was like, it's, right. I mean, anybody can just get a box and put some stuff in it. it but the, that water cooling is beautiful. I didn't know that you were so big on design. Yes. Until I started talking with you and, and following a lot of what you're doing on the side. And that's when it hit me like, okay, this guy cares about aesthetics. Yeah. This guy cares about, uh, you know, taking something and making it yours. Yep. So that, that's what made, made a lot of sense on why you would want to do this right after you just built a computer. When I saw Red Mist, I was like, holy cow. Like, Apparently he hasn't seen Skunk Work. He, yeah, I see, I haven't seen, yeah. you, well, you, no, I did, I did green, see Skunk Work. One? But I'm telling you, the Red Mist was the first one I saw. Right, right. So, and then I went on and started to looking, at you, uh, looking up your stuff. Yeah. And then I saw, oh my God, this is actually possible. It's possible. Yeah. And I started to say, okay, I'm gonna lay out, my PC is gonna be right over here. I got, I'm gonna line this The setup up. becomes, the towers is one aspect. Yes. The setup, the monitor. I saw you got yes. an X34 Predator. I yes. use one. Best monitor for gamers and, and content creators. It's IPS. It. It's a good color. Um, so obviously this is more than just a computer. It's also a setup. So we're going to have to collaborate more, though, yeah. behind the scenes and talk about the design because we want it to all tie in. Yes, right? exactly. Exactly. But I think, again, we got, we got the base here. Old Spice. Or Camacho, That's I'm leaning. I'm leaning toward Old Spice. I am. I'm leaning there, yeah. but stop me if I'm wrong. I almost feel like there's no reason why over time you couldn't have both. 
That's, a, that's true. Why not build another one? Exactly. I mean, you start doing like I do, where you literally build systems and just put them on display. Yeah. Because I've got three or four systems right now that do nothing but our, our display pieces. Exactly, exactly. So there's no reason why you couldn't do that. But we'll get, we'll get, you, we'll get the one up and running for you. Um, again, he's not guaranteeing he's going to go with whichever one you choose. He's no. kind of asking. The I'm just asking. Here. I just want opinions. Like I said, you know, I'm leaning toward Old Spice. Mm -hmm. But if, if, if all of a sudden I hear out of the nowhere there's a mass of people that say, ah, no, 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 I might change. But we'll see. But I think an Old Spice PC would be yeah. nuts. Yeah. Nuts. I mean, have it say something when you turn it on. Like, so, power! So, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, we'd have to get a good recording for that. <laughs> yeah. There's a couple of things here, and, and I'm really hoping I can make this work. Okay. Um, and I've actually got to get some engineers involved with this to, to make this piece. But fortunately, I know some people that work on Tested and with, like, the Mythbusters guys. So okay. we've got a lot of access here. Okay. I want, if we're going to do Old Spice, I think it'd be cool to have something where you can put a, one of the aerosol cartridges in there. Oh, so when it yells power, it squirts. Oh, so awesome. it would have your favorite scent. You know, every time you turn on uh, your computer, it sprays in the room. Uh, so it's like an air Bear grip. glove. It, for me, it's bear glove. Right. I am a bear glove guy. So. so I think that if I can pull that off, that would be amazing. That's a, that's a big feat, though, because we're talking some major case design here. Um, another question I have, how big or small do you want this to be? Because uh, it can, my, my Skunk Works build is 85 pounds. Wow. So, wow. Or you can build a small one that would fit in that little case over there. So right. I would say medium. Okay. I would say, because again, I would love it to... I would slide that over, mm -hmm. and then we have all this space right here to use. You know yeah, what I mean? It could yeah. just be, I mean, because this is a, an adjustable desk. Right. So, you know, I just don't want to put it under there, but it would be able to be right to the side, and it can. And you want to be, you want to see it. Yeah, that's the thing. Right, exactly. You want to see the whole thing, and, you know, it'll be beautiful, man. This is, this is, this is exciting, because yeah. I've got my work cut out for me now, because this is all on my shoulders. No, I, again, I could not be more thankful for Jay for coming all the way down and, and, and really volunteering to put this thing together for me because, you know, I'm in this world. I'm in this world forever now, you know? Yeah. If this is the future. I've always been an early adapter. And uh, the fact that, you know, you, he, this is the man for water cooling. I started calling him. I remember I hit you up. I was literally tweeting you from Hawaii. I'm ready. I'm ready. You did. I was at Jerry's place. I, a funny story for you, by the way. Okay. Um, Jerry. Terry Crews is now being told you exist. He's like, tell him I exist, please. He's, another, he's, he's my partner. Jerry, okay. He's my partner in crime on my, my podcast. Okay, he's another okay. big YouTuber in about 800,000 subs. Got it. Um, does like a lot of the 3D printing stuff. In okay. fact, he's offering some of his 3D printing services to make oh, some of this stuff. Wow, so, wow. Jerry, I'm telling him, all right, what's up? So I'm at his place. Okay. And uh, we're playing Battlefield 1, actually, when you're, when you're, DM came in on Twitter where you were like, hey, wow. I'm ready. Let's do this. Because yes. I've been waiting and I've been trying not to nag him because I know he's busy. Oh, I um, and every time I got closer to December, I'm going, ah, this is going to go to 2017. Um, he was so excited. He goes, I can't believe you're talking to Terry, Terry Crews on my internet. <laughs> <laughs> he went I'm downstairs honest. and told his wife, He's talking to Terry right now on our internet. Can you believe it's like what it's total fan girl. I'm with it, man. Listen, I, again. But he was excited to meet me. That's weird. I was because you know what? This is the deal, man. I mean, first of all, you know, this is the way everything's going. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's I mean, the design, the computers. I mean, if you resist this world, you're just gonna be so behind. You, yeah. You're in the dark ages. Right. Now this this is gonna cost you something though. I'm with it. I've I've got to get a premiere to somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. I mean, they got to roll out the red carpet and the yeah, whole deal, man. I mean, I'm sure. I, I, <laughs> I'm see, I think Rogue One is coming up pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I, I got I to work some magic. We'll see what happens. Oh, wow. See, that, I, that would be amazing just to make my sister and my brother-in-law jealous. Because they work be at good. Disney. I, I, and, uh, but I want to make it. I'm not making any promises yet. No, but the, just uh, the, but the, the idea that you would try is I enough for me. I would try. I would try. Believe me. I got some people and make some phone calls and the whole thing. So Speaking we'll of phone calls, I've got a few to make regarding all this. All right, Terry. Uh, hey, hey, appreciate Jay, it, man. Thank you. Man. And I think people are going to be surprised to realize, like, they don't realize how big I am on camera. Yeah, like, he's a big dude. I think I'm taller than you right now. He's taller than me. He's lost 250 pounds, which is he lost the whole size of me. Now, I, I've actually lost weight over the years. Mm -hmm. I used to be much bigger. I mean, I was like 260. You know, right now, I'm about 235, 240, because I want to be trim and slim, do my thing. You want to but... actually be able to put your arms forward and not bust the back of your head? Yeah, that's the deal. That's the <laughs> deal. But you know what? It's, first of all, you know, I, I, I'm a big man on fitness, but I'm really, really super proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate what, that. What you've done, man. I, I, have a, I have a hashtag movement I did last year because um, I, I took up cycling. I lost 70 more pounds last Woo. year where um, it was hashtag go team J. Wow. And what I encouraged people to do was tell me their stories. Yeah. And 
I, I never realized how much one person can really move people yeah. because collectively thousands of pounds were lost because people were motivated by what I was doing. And they were showing their before and after and their, their weight loss tracking. And I'm going, wow, I'm just one person that wanted to look a little better and get made fun of a little less on the internet. And then here we are thousands of pounds later across the world. So you know, again, one small step. I tell people all the time, all you have to do is just start doing it. Yeah. Once you stop moving and doing, then you get people behind you. Yep. You know what I mean? And you are a perfect example of that, bro. As long as you, as long as you stick to it, all you need is time. That's it. Time is 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 all you need. That's so. it, guys. Thanks for watching Jay's Two Cents. This is a series, obviously. Um, don't forget to vote down in the description of this video. Click that straw poll. Let them know what you think the theme should be, and then uh, we're gonna start making some calls and we're gonna make this happen. It's on. And I've got a I've got to really put together a really crack shot team on this is this is like, i feel like exhibit right now we're gonna yeah. pick a pc yeah it's gonna be beautiful. i can't wait i i literally i got goosebumps man i can't yeah. wait so well, next time next time we meet there's gonna be something to see oh so all right guys go. thanks for watching make it I don't need to tell you where to find him. Just look up Terry. Yeah, yeah. But go to his YouTube. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't go to mine. Go to his. J2 Cents. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Cool. That was fun. Oh, you got it.